Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad, 11th grade, 2023, problem number 1. We wish to find all continuous functions, f, from the set of real numbers into itself, such that two conditions are met. First, f of 1 equals e, and furthermore, f of x plus y equals e to the power 3xy times f of x times f of y for all the real numbers x and y. It's a pretty standard functional equation, I'd say. Here, here are my hints. First, uh, the tricky part, the only tricky part, I'd say, is maybe, maybe not the only tricky part, whatever. Multiply by both sides by e to the power 3x, 3 over 2x squared and multiply by e to the power 3 over 2y squared. Use the well-known result then that if g from the set of real numbers into itself, if it is, if it is continuous and it, if it satisfies Cauchy's functional equation, namely g of x plus y equals g of x plus g of y, then g must be linear. g of x equals ax for some constant a. So along the way, you should make some kind of substitution and to reduce our problem to Cauchy functional equation. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. First, as I, suggest, as I suggested, I will take my equation And I will multiply both sides by e to the power 3x, uh, 3 over 2x squared, e to the power 3 over 2y squared. Both sides. And maybe on the right hand side I will write it 3 over 2x squared plus 3xy plus 3 over 2y squared, f of x of y. What do we notice? Well, we have 3 over 2x squared, e to the power 3 over 2y squared, f of x plus y equals, and here we can combine this uh, numerator, this exponent, sorry, into, uh, into what exactly? It's 3 over 2x plus y squared, f of x, f of y. Perfect. And now, after first multiplying by e to the power 3 over 2x squared and so on, now I will divide. I will now divide and I will get the following. f of x plus y over, or maybe, you know what, I will maybe write with negative exponents. So e to the power minus 3 over 2 x plus y squared f of x plus y equals e to the power minus 3 over 2x squared f of x e to the power minus 3 over 2y squared f of y. Okay, it's now looking somewhat like Cauchy functional equation, but not quite. We are not there yet. Now, it's pretty standard trick. Uh, let's consider, can our function attain value of zero? I argue that it's, it, it can't, so if f of y, let's say, equals 0 for some y0, let's say, y0, then what do we have? What do we have? We have e to the power minus 3 over 2 x plus y sub 0 squared, f of x plus y sub 0, and on the right hand side we have 0. So in other words, because x is arbitrary, our function must be constantly zero, i.e. f is constantly zero. Can it be? No, it can't. Why not? Because we are given that f of 1 equals e, so it cannot be constantly equal to zero. Contrary to f of 1 equals e. So, cannot happen. 
So now we know. So now we know that f of y is f of uh, uh, f of y ca cannot be zero. And now let's set something. Let's set uh, x and y to be equal. Then we have the following e to the power minus 3 over 2, 2x squared, f of 2 times x equals, equals e to the power minus 1 half x squared, f of x, e to the power minus 1 half x squared, f of x. And now notice something, that f of x times f of x, it's a square, and we know that it's not zero, so it must be positive. The entire right-hand side is positive. It cannot be zero because we have established that f does not attain the value of zero. And remember that that is true for every x. So in other words, in other words, for every real number x, f of x is positive. So now we know that our function must be positive. And now, if I mark, if I mark this crucial equation by triangle, let's say, I can now safely take natural log on both sides. So taking natural log on both sides, of our condition which I mark triangle, we derive the following. Well, natural log of this is minus 3 over 2x plus y squared. And what then? Then we have natural log of f of x plus y equals minus 3 over 2x squared plus natural log of f of x minus 3 over 2y squared plus natural log of f of y, if I am not mistaken. If I am not mistaken, let me take a look. It's exactly right. And now, notice that something is repeating itself. I will now call this part g of x plus y, this part is g of x, and this part is g of y, and we have Cauchy functional equation. Moreover, since f was continuous, g is continuous as well. g is continuous. And G satisfies Cauchy functional equation. Mm, Cauchy functional equation. By one of my, by one of my hints, that means that G must be linear. We know that means that that means that g of x equals a times x for some real number a. Perfect. And now let's go back with our substitution. Remember that g of x it was defined minus 3 over 2 x squared plus natural log of f of x equals a times x. What is a? Can, can a be found? Yes, it can, because once again, let's go back to the beginning. We know that f of 1 equals e. So now let's set x to be 1. So set x to be 1, and we get the following. Minus 3 over 2 plus natural log of f of 1 
equals a f of 1 is e natural log of e is 1 1 minus 3 over 2 is minus 1 half so we have our value of a and that means that natural log of f of x equals sorry equals uh, 3 over 2x squared minus 1 half x and finally maybe we we'll write it in pink we take exponential function on both sides and we get our answer our answer our function equals e to the power let's write it nicely e to the power 3 uh, 3x squared minus x over 2. And in fact, it's the only solution. It's the only function which satisfy, satisfies our conditions. There is no need for verification because we know that uh, in Cauchy functional equation, every form, every function of the form ax satisfies our equation so our equation was equivalent equivalent to this equation and we know that this equation is satisfied by every function ax then we have checked the exact value of parameter a and we have our formula no need for verification but you can if you wish you can verify it by hand yeah so very nice problem i'd say thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time goodbye